and welcome back everyone <coughs> last episode we uh, we built this farmhouse here with the uh, you know and I just messed it up a little so that it's more uh, it's a little more interesting I put some uh, maybe I showed you guys this I put some uh, hay bales there just so it looks like it's actually a used farmhouse and I've started to move this little farm right here I'm moving that to here because I feel like I want to have uh, keep this as the pathway just there um, you know with some buildings on it just just to have kind of a street type of thing and then maybe maybe a little patio there in the on the water to uh, yeah to just have something uh, a little bit nicer um, than just the path stopping right there and then the farm starting so I'm slowly moving that farm over here um, and I think I'm thinking I want to just have it go all the way down to the water so that's probably what we're doing out here we can grow the potatoes and then here we can th we can grow the wheat maybe maybe some carrots if we ever get some from uh, from maybe from a zombie or maybe we can find a village somewhere um, I said last episode we were gonna work on the interior of the of the buildings but we're not I went into the nether uh, to get some more netherrack uh, because I wanna try to uh, also use nether brick in the builds and uh, so I went into the nether and so when and when I step through the portal, I uh, <coughs> and when I step through the portal, uh, I think a creeper must have walked through uh, through the portal at some point. And as soon as I stepped through, it blew me up and threw me off this cliff. I landed, I don't know, on there I think, and I died and some of my stuff fell in the lava including my uh, my sword and my diamond pick um, so I think it's probably a good idea to make like a little nether uh, nether reception area I guess like where uh, <coughs> where I end up and then I won't get blown off uh, in the into the lava so that's what I was thinking of doing um and yeah I want to make I want to make that out of overworld stuff so that it stands out a little more and I know that stone isn't uh, guests aren't able to blow it up to blow up the stone um so that's that's a good thing uh to me anyways um so yeah I just wanted to get that started and then hopefully, um, yeah, that won't happen again. Uh, where a creeper just comes in and just launches me off the off of the netherrack here. So I'm thinking of just starting it off with uh, with some regular old cobble, and I think we're going to be using lots of slabs, uh, just because it's more uh, resource efficient. So just like that, and then we'll just keep that going. Uh, we might eventually change these cobblestone slabs to uh, regular stone slabs, but I want to have a uh, a silk touch pick is what we need for that. Because um, smelting all the stone, that I mean, it works for little, for smaller amounts of uh, of stone. So when we need like one stack, but I think for this project we'd need a lot a lot of slabs um, so I just wanted to get it started with cobble and we can always expand it with regular stone um, but this way I think we have uh, we have something nice going whoops you're not there so yeah that's uh, that's kind of what I'm doing what I'm doing here um, 
just building a little platform and uh, we'll get started on the on the walls as well uh, and that's what I brought the bricks for uh, but I want to make I want to see how big we want to make this and I think we have a pretty nice size going on right now just that that works I think that's I think that's a fine size um, and yeah then we just build on it I think with uh, and then some andesite in between where uh, some andesite blocks and maybe some diorite blocks as well just to add some interest so it's not just a plain uh, boring old uh, brick wall because I think the andesite block look goes pretty nicely with the uh, with the cobbles with the stone bricks so we'll just have that continue on there some diorite on there maybe here and there I, I'm not a fan of the diorite block um, it's yeah it's a little too rough in my uh, in my opinion so I won't use it a whole lot but I'll implement it that's uh, I mean it's it could be a fine block in maybe a uh, yeah it may be like a snowy area where you have where you want to make I don't know like bricks that are uh, that are covered in snow so maybe for like a roof for like a rooftop but for the most part uh, yeah, I don't think it's the best block in the uh, in in our minecraft world uh, let's see where do we want to make the door I think right here is where we'd like to have the door Got out these three. Let's see. Whoops. You're not you're not supposed to be there. Hello, you can't get here. So just that. Go on like that. So for now it's going to be just a wall and I will be I will be making a roof for this as well. But for now, we'll just leave it as a wall. Um with with a gate. I want to make like a little a little gate area. Gate area. And then one more there, bricks there. And then over top I'm thinking maybe brick slabs. Did I whistle with that S there? Some slabs. So just that. Grabbing some slabs and putting that. Some slabs and there, there, and then there. And then maybe one more slab in the middle there. Let's see if we can aim that right. Yeah, there we go. And then just that. There we go. And then put some torches on it, and then we have a nice little gate here um, that we will be. Oh, hello. Let's block it off right here. You're trapped forever. And then block it off right. Well, we don't need to block that area off, I guess. That's where we're going. And then. So just the platform, so we don't get kicked off by a ghast or by uh, or by a creeper. Now let's just get rid of some of this netherrack. I really need to enchant this pick, and we have some. Uh, we have an enchantment table uh, in a chest somewhere, but I don't think we have enough bookshelves to get a level 30 enchantment yet. So I've been feeding the cows, I've been killing the cows uh, for leather. We have eight bookshelves as of right now but I don't think that's enough to uh, to actually um, to actually get an, a level 30 enchantment but I'm not sure I don't I'm not sure how much it needs exactly so yeah it'll be interesting to see we're we're gonna be go getting into that 
in this episode as well. Let's just fill this up, fill that up. Uh, maybe, maybe we use bricks for this to fill this up. Just that, and then and that right there. Yeah, that makes it look like it's just a building, and the netherrack is o has only gone up against it and it's not the other way around like okay here's netherrack we'll put a building on top of it it's like okay here's netherrack we're putting we'll pu put a building in that yeah looks far more solid I hope you guys notice as well and then we'll do the same on the other side Let's see here so we'll have we don't have that that many bricks left so we won't use them too much. So just there and there. One, two, three. And then just end the site. That works. We're not going to be in this side of the building anyways. And then we can fill this up with netherrack. And let's see on the other side. Yeah, fill up this little hole there. And then I guess we could have taken the uh, the little bricks there out as well, but eh, whatever. And I'm thinking of maybe, um, you know how castles sometimes they have the uh, the water around them. I'm thinking of doing that with lava, but then I think we'd need to put some glass over it because I'm not sure how smart of an idea that is. <laughs> because I might just fall in and that'll be the end of us and yeah that wouldn't be so great so and I'm thinking of getting either red stained glass or yellow orangey type of stained glass because I don't want it to be just white glass because I don't think that's gonna look that great but yeah that's our little nether platform here so let's get back let's get on uh, get on to the enchanting um, I want to make some splash potions of weakness as well, but you need uh, the fer fermented spider eyes for that, and I don't have the brown mushrooms for it just yet, um, so I'll be looking for that, but I haven't found any yet, so, so that's going to have to wait just a little bit. Because um, we do have apples, we do have some gold, so like the golden apples we could make in a heartbeat but not but the rest yeah not quite let's see let's throw our nether act back in here our dirt goes back in here diorite some andesite we need some more andesite and then cobble back in here and then the cobblestone slabs also in here and let's get a little bit more organized here we go and then in this chest outside here oh another pumpkin just grew here we have our enchantment table and our bookshelves so as I said I'm not quite sure if this will give us uh, level 30 enchantment but we'll see um, if not I think if we can get 12 uh, 12 bookshelves, that'll be fine. But let's see where we want to make this. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but I'd like to make it on... Yeah, I'd like to build it somewhere where we might end up putting a, a building for it. But I'm not quite sure where to put that building yet. So for now, we can just put it on top of our roof here. Um but but it won't stay there forever so just one two three one two three and then one two and what kind of level 16 only 16 so we'd need another eight are you serious jeez hmm let's see what we can do with the cows 
So I want to breed them first. Let's see, is this area almost done? Yeah. There's not that much wheat that has grown yet. Let's see. Let's see how much wheat we can get. Breed up the cows and then uh, let's see how many baby cows we can make and that's the amount of cows that we'll kill and then we'll see how many bookshelves we can make out of the leather that we get from that. Let's see. Here's one. Here's two. Oh, come here. There's one more. There we go. And 30. So let's see if we can actually use all these. Do we have 30 cows? I don't think so. We'll see. So let's just breed them all up. Yep, it's time for you guys to make the babies. Make it a babies. Six left, four left, three. And we're out. And then you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I'm I'm jumping because I want to crit them because otherwise they run away. Because I don't kill them in one regular blow. But with a critical hit I can kill them in one hit. So that's eight. We need at least twelve. That's twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. One more. Still fourteen. Sixteen. So let's grab eighteen. There we go. And with that we can make six more bookshelves. Um, if we grab the the paper as well so let's see here uh, 36 is 12 oh 54 is 18 that's perfect that's 18 right yeah right beautiful so let's get back let's make the books grab some uh, grab some wood throw that in the furnaces that I have in the uh, in the storage room oh we might as well grab the pumpkins as well I'm, gr I'm gathering pumpkins because if we ever get a farm a farmer villager um, he might have the uh, then he might have the pumpkin trade and that's a really that's a really good trade uh, to get because it gives us uh, I think like eight pumpkins is one emerald and we have like six we have 64 pumpkins now so that's so that's eight emeralds so that's pretty good um, let's see let's just grab some wood here yeah I think that'll be enough just that is 10 oh that's only 17 okay so we need a little bit more wood, uh, which is fine. We'll just grab that. And then make some books. And then we're going to hope that that is going to be enough. Um, oh, shoot. That, w that we have enough bookshelves after this for... Uh, to get some nice level 30 enchantments going oh yeah we didn't need 18 we needed only 6 I'm smart <laughs> oh man let's see so we have 6 more Whoa, what is going on there no pumpkins are grown? no so let's see 1, 2, 3, 4 Five, six, twenty-eight. So we need at least one more, one or two more, and then we're set. You know what? Let's just do it. I say we do it. We kill some more cows. We hope for six leather. Have two more bookshelves, and, uh, and then we can just get started, and we can just breed up the the rest of the cows when they grow up. I say that that's what we're doing. Two, four. 
four, 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 six, six leather. Let's eat some potatoes here. We're getting hungry. There we go. And some more sugar cane. Is that enough? That's too much, actually. Let's just do that. There we go. Make some books. And we'll throw this in the furnace as well. Oh, let's replant our wheat here. Now that we're here. Any more? Yeah. There we go. And then we just walk backwards here. Because we want to make sure that we have enough wheat to keep on breeding them. Because as soon as we get enough cows to uh, to start killing them for their meat that's when we start getting a real good food situation going uh, let's see so seven in here you know what let's put eight in here and six in here that's fine uh, and then we needed some wood some more wood just like that that's good nope that's not good we need four more so let's grab four more and then just that, and then that, and we only needed 12 because... <sighs> hmm. We'll get there. Oops. And then that should be enough. There we go. And we can get efficiency 4 on our pickaxe right away. That's great. Let's see. Let's grab some lapis. We can do two with the the way the new uh, enchantment situation works is you need at least to be to be at least level thirty to get this enchantment, but it only costs as you can see three enchantment levels, so it costs three lapis and three levels, but you need to be a high enough level to get the enchantment. Does that make sense? I feel like it's uh, it's a pretty good way of doing it and I want efficiency 4 on this but let's see what we get for the rest first because if we can get silk touch on anything uh, except the sword, the sword doesn't really matter yeah so we're not doing the sword this gives us efficiency 4 hopefully unbreaking as well silk touch! yes! that's great oh that's so great I love it What's this? Unbreaking 3 still. So we're not going for that. What does this give us? Unbreaking 3 as well. That's good. For a diamond axe, unbreaking is pretty okay. Um, on our shovel we got unbreaking 3. Yeah, I'd like to get some efficiency on a diamond shovel. Um, let's see. Maybe if we enchant a bow. No, let's make a new bow. We have the string and the sticks for it, so we might as well make a new one. Instead of wasting 30 levels on a bow that's almost gone. Let's see what we can get on a bow. If we can get infinity on this bow, that would be amazing. Flame 1. No, we don't want that. I'd like to get uh, one diamond sword that has a uh, fire aspect on it. And then one diamond sword that is just good old uh, sharpness four or five or something. Um, mainly, and that's mainly because I'd like it to be. Uh, oh no, we need silk touch on the diamond axe. We can't enchant this axe until it gets until it gets silk touch, because I want to be able to farm watermelons just whole, just as a whole. Um, so we have a silk touch pick now we need another one that's just efficiency and not silk touch so I think that's what we're going to be going for um, I'd like a fortune pick if we can get a fortune pick we're set for life let's see unbreaking three yeah so I'm not taking that risk uh, so what do we do? Do we go for unbreaking on the sword? No. We could make a diamond shovel 
and throw the level 30 enchantment on that and then hope for an efficiency efficiency something hopefully four three would also be fine because a diamond shovel is pretty s pretty sweet anyways goes pretty quick um, regardless but I would really like it if it's a really fast uh, I'd really like uh, just an instant shovel basically just unbreaking three are you kidding me okay so we'll burn through this one um, let's see what's your uh, durability Oh, what's your durability on this 1500 but it goes pretty quick so so it's not too bad I would just like to get uh, to get an efficiency something shovel diamond shovel uh, and we can throw this stone shovel away in here and let's see what the next enchantment is going to give us on any of these oh, come on. this fence needs to go it messes up my jump somehow uh, let's see what do we get fortune 3 that's what we're going for next definitely not enchanting anything until we get the fortune 3 on that diamond pickaxe though Jeez, uh, this chest is where the fences go, and we'll throw our seeds in the other chest right there. Wow, we have Silk Touch and Fortune. That's so great. That's just perfect. Oh, well, we can plant the rest of these seeds here, actually since we were talking about moving the farm we'll plant the rest of these here and here that'll be fine for now we can always change it up a little and then we'll just I'll just feed the feed the sheep there and then we'll call it a day Yeah, you want that. <laughs> yeah, you want that. So let's feed all of the sheep, or most of the sheep anyways. There we go. Have fun have fun with that. And we can throw a sheer job on there as well, just to grab some more wool. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you all in the next episode.